Hi everybody, hope you're well. This video is requested by Victoria Takane. So this video is going to be about what competitions you should use for different breeds. I'm going to talk about classical competitions and I'm going to talk about Western. And I'm going to be talking about them in terms of bluffing. So therefore picking the best top three genetic skills for your horse. Okay, so we're going to be focusing on competitions that meet that criteria. I'm not going to be looking at skilling. If you need to look at skilling, look at my skilling videos. So to begin with, we will have a Western example and we'll also have a classical example so I'm going to cover both of those in this video. So it might be a little bit long but do stick with me and I'll try and explain the best I can. So to start off with, you, whenever you have different breeds of horses and I've got a couple of different examples of horses open at the moment that I will show you shortly and you may be thinking okay right the first thing you need to do whenever you have your horse is you need to figure out what are its best three genetic skills. So if you click on the genetic tab and then you open up here and you can see the genetic potential. So you've got six skills there. You've got stamina, speed, dressage, gallop, trot and jumping. So this is what you want to be focused on. So therefore you want to first pick what three are the best there. So if we have a look here, the highest we can see on this horse is stamina. The second highest is dressage and the third highest is jumping. So therefore we've identified the top three genetic skills of that particular horse okay so stamina dressage jumping right so you might be thinking okay that's all well and good but how do I know what, what competition to put it in well I have got a guide here which I'm going to show you now so we're well, first off we're going to look at the, we'll just ignore the classical for now so if I can just move this down a little bit out of the road so this is for western so with this, these are all the different types of competitions. There's barrel, there's cutting, there's running, trail, and western pleasure. And down the side here we've got the six different skills. So the stamina, the speed, the dressers, the, the gallop, trot, and jump. So the first competition we've got here is barrel. Okay, So with barrel you can see that I've ticked the box for stamina, speed, and gallop. So that those ticks mean that those are the skills that you gain from barrel competitions. So you gain stamina, speed, and gallop from those. So, if we think about that, well, our horse needed stamina, dressage, and jump. So this particular competition would only give us stamina. It wouldn't give us dressage, and it wouldn't give us jump. So barrel might not be the best competition for it. Now, then we move over to cutting, and we have a look at cutting. And on this occasion, it does give us stamina, and it gives us dressage as well. But it gives us one that we don't need, which is speed. So we might decide, no, maybe cutting's not the right one. Then we might have a look at reining, and we see that it gives us stamina. That's good and it gives us dressage. So that's two out of three, but it doesn't give us jumping, so we're still missing jump. And then we look at trail, and you can see it doesn't give us stamina, it does give us dressage, and it does give us jump. So there you might say to yourself, well, I could do two different types of competitions, because if my, if this particular horse, for example, right, you need these three highlighted skills, so the stamina, the dressage, and the jump, you might then highlight across and have a look to see which ones meet that criteria. So highlighting that then we can see that the only competition in western style that will give us jumping is trail. So if we were blopping this horse in the western style we'd need to make sure we did trail in order to gain the skills from trail and jump. If we didn't then we wouldn't be able to hold the horse and we wouldn't be able to get it to 100 blop because we would have missed the jump. Now we also get dressage from trail so you might decide, right, I'm going to do trail with this horse because it will give me two out of three. So if you did that, let's just say we completed all the trail competitions and we got all the dressage skills, all the jump skills from trail. When we've done that, then we're going to say, right, okay, well, we still have one to do. Okay, so this is complete and this one's complete, but we still need stamina. Well, if you still need to do stamina, what you're going to then say is... Right, well, if we have a look, there's four other types of competitions there that will give us stamina. So we could do barrel, we could do cutting, we could do reining, we could do western pleasure. All of those would gain us stamina. We could do a mixture of them as well. But we might just want to pick. So for western, for this particular horse that we picked as an example, we'd have to do two different types of western competitions in order to get those three skills. So I'm just going to unhighlight those again. Now, if we were to go and look at classical, okay, so let's go again that we're looking at the same horse that has requires stamina and it requires dressage 
and it requires jump. And this time we're blopping it in classical, okay? So ignore the fact you pretend you never blopped it in Western, pretend that you're now, you're decided you're going to blop in classical from the get go. So having a look at one, at this, there's one thing that becomes very apparent very quickly, and that there is one competition type that will actually give us all three. So it will give us the stamina, it will give us the dressage, and it will give us the jump. So therefore we will have figured out from that that this would be the best competition type to do to gain all three skills in one go. And you usually have to enter about 24 competitions, sometimes a little bit more, but it's usually around that to gain all the skills if you're just if you're doing it without a Y and you're not using a Chronos timer. If you're using a Chronos timer you'll do it in half the time. But if you're just blipping a horse regularly, you're going to need to give it a good couple of competitions. So 20 20 to 25 is usually I usually find it's about 25 or 24. So this what we've figured out with this is that cross country is the best type of competition for this particular horse. So therefore we'd say, alright, well we know what is the best way to blop this horse. Because if we wanted competitions that are going to gain us those three skills, the stamina, the dress, and the jump, we want to make sure that we're going with cross country on this particular occasion. Then there's nothing wrong with doing it western. And there's nothing wrong with entering other types of competitions. It's just that the cross country would be the fastest option because it would give us all three. So we'll leave that example for now. And if you're wondering how I know which boxes are ticked for which competition, if you want to do this and you want to make your own little um, table, for example, to make it simpler for yourself, you can click on any competition. And let's just click on cross country for this example. When you click on cross country, there'll be a little box, just like every other competition. And it's these three, whatever the three skills listed in this box are the three skills that you will gain from that type of competition. They're also the the skills that are you know most influential these three skills that aren't listed there so gallop on this occasion those gallop trot and speed will have no effect whatsoever we will never gain them from this type of competition for example so we'll go back and we'll pick we'll go back to the western horse and we'll click on trail for example there you go you can save the trail you've got dressage trot and jumping and if we just go back quickly to this so trail was dressage, trot, and jump. So this is how you can figure out which skills are gained from which type of competitions, is to go to each competition page and see what is on the top box. In this box, whatever three skills are in here are the ones that you're going to get from that competition. And then you can go and make yourself these little kind of tables. If you are on the UK, I have this on my presentation page, and I also have it on my EC page, so they're there, and you can go and look at them. Um, if you want. So that is how to choose the best competitions for your horses. Now I'm going to do a couple more examples just um, for the sake of it. So we'll have a look here at another one. So here we've got a, a different one. Now I'm going to just point out one thing. Different breeds and different servers actually have different skill sets. So don't be looking at this and saying, oh, this is a curly, so this means that the skill set's the same in all servers. It's not always the case. Competitions are the same, but the genetic potential layout isn't always the same. So in this particular occasion, if we look at all the genetic uh, skills of this horse, the best one is stamina, the next best one is trot, and the next one best, best one is speed. So stamina, trot, and speed. So let's have a look and see if we can find anything that will suit that. So stamina, speed, and trot. So we want to highlight these. So we want to go with stamina, speed. Trot. So we'll just highlight across that probably be the easier. Actually, I'll use the same color as I did earlier. So trot, speed, and last of all, stamina. So having a look there at uh, the Western style for this particular horse, you can see that there's no competition type that will give us all three, but there are definitely competitions there that we could do a mixture of to gain the skills that we need. So we could do Western Pleasure, for example, because that gives us two out of three. We could do Cutting, because that gives us two out of three. We could do Barrel, that gives us two out of three. And then we would need to do um, one other one to get the last uh, skill from that. So let's have a look at Classical as well. We'll give this a try and see if there's anything here that suits it. 
So having a look there, you can see yet again, there's no competition type that you can do one of. Now some breeds you will need to do two types of competition. Uh, some breeds you can get away with one type, as I did show you that one earlier. This one, this particular breed, is going to take two different types. So you can see there that you're going to have to do a mixture. Whether you did classical or western, you're going to have to do two different types of competitions. So, let's see if we can... Well, I can wear that one because we've already looked at that example. So, here's another horse here. So, this is the draft horses that came out recently. So, we've got stamina. Um, if we look down here, so we've got speed is the best skill, then followed by stamina and jump. So, let's have a look at that one. So, speed and stamina, followed by jump. So there you can see classical, nope, there's not going to be any competition that will do all three skills in one go, but there are some that would do two or just one, so you could mix it up a wee bit. But you can see actually from looking at this, you can see that um, dressage, if you use dressage in your draft horse, for example, this particular draft horse, and I just remember, this particular example, as I should probably say, is dressage on this occasion gives dressage gallop and trot and you can see that none of those are highlighted you know they don't give any stamina or speed and it doesn't give any jump so that you could really like that competition you might say well I don't want to do dressage competitions because that won't help me increase the skills and help build my horse so let's just change this one over to jump for this example There we go. So there you can have a look at Western. You can see yet again that Western doesn't give all three, so you're going to have to do two different types of competitions. So these are some of the things that you basically want to be taking into consideration when you look at your genetic potential and you compare it. Because you might have to say, well, it's going to take a little bit more time maybe if I have to do um, double the amount of competitions. Because remember, as I said earlier, if you're entering one specific type of competition, as I showed in that cross-country example earlier, where you're entering, you have to do 24 for that one, that, that first example that I showed you. But if you have to do two types of competition, that might stack up to 40 plus competitions. So you're going to need a little bit more time to finish it. It's going to take more agent points and so forth. Now, donkeys are the exact same when it comes to competitions. Uh, the donkeys are dressage, jumping, and stamina. So the same as that first example that I showed you, so we're not going to go over to that. So here's another one. Let's look. Um, this is a Mustang, but do you remember the skill set is not always the same. Different servers, and this, these three skills, which are top and bottom, could be completely different. So for this particular example, it's going to be stamina, speed, and gallop are our top three. Those are the highest out of all six. So we'll have a look. We'll just unhighlight these. Oh, managed to highlight all of them. Hold on. So there we go. So doing this, we'll highlight those and we'll highlight that. And you can see immediately there's a competition type that will suit this particular horse that's good in stamina speed and gallop because barrel covers all three of those. And if we were to look here, so if we highlight gallop instead, unhighlight jump, sorry, you can see that um, classical won't suit us in this particular occasion. So those Basically, these are the ways to identify it. So if you want to make your own table, literally just as I said before, click on the competition and go and have a look to see what three skills are in the, this box. And it will be on all the types, whether it's Western or classical. And then you can make something like this, which will help you to um, decide which skills. So remember, the skills of your horse compared to the different competitions. Um, thank you to Victoria uh, Tekin for asking for the video. I hope I said your name right. I probably didn't, but uh, anyway, guys, hope you love it. Bye-bye.